Hi, it's teacher Melissa and I'm doing this quick video on the fly to get out there for all those teachers who are a little bit concerned about their bookings this week. Today is April 27th. So for this week, this weekend, this week coming up and even next weekend, bookings might get a little bit crazy. It is a holiday coming up in China. So if you will look on your bookings page where you have the booking, your classes booked in the times, there's a very thin line across the very top of the bookings page and it always tells you what the holidays are. And they've added that recently. Love it. It reminds me when Easter is and when Mother's Day is, but it also has the Chinese holidays and for some other countries as well. So always take a look at that ahead of time. That's what I do. It's up there weeks before. So I'll take a look and see are there any holidays I need to remember in America so I don't accidentally book a class. Are there any Chinese holidays? Then if there's a Chinese one, I just give, do a quick Google. What, what's up with this holiday? What's going on? So I learned just a little bit from a quick Google and then I make it my goal to start asking my upper level students about the holiday ahead of time. How long will you be off school? Does dad get off work? Do you travel? Do you stay home? So I'll ask my upper, I teach all the way through seven plus. So I have some very upper level students that I can just have a great conversation with. So um, I pick their brains ahead of time. What's coming up for this holiday? And then I do a little bit of research on the hutong to find out. So today, what I really want to tell you is kids are going to be off school probably May 1st. Many of them are off a number of days, May 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, two, three, four days, depending on their school. Now, it's just like schools in America. Not every child will have all of these days off. Some children will only have one or two days. Some children will, not, will, will have four or five days. It's different depending on the type of school they go to. So your mileage may vary, but they're going to have some time off of school. You may not realize this either. When they are off for a holiday, they often have to make up that day by going on the weekend before or after that holiday. So many of my students right now are telling me that they have school on Sunday, the Sunday before May 1st, because they're going to be off. Some students are having school on Saturday. So again, depends on the student. So here's what this means for you in bookings. Your evening classes that are usually full on Saturday night, uh, May, you might get a lot of cancellations and no-shows because the students are in school. And so the parents booked those classes two weeks ago. They don't want to lose their slot for whatever reason. They forgot. They thought, oh, maybe we will be home. Let's go ahead and book. Um, but some of those slots are canceling. So that's what's happening. Nobody's mad at you. Your regulars are not deserting you. They've got school because Saturday night for us and Saturday overnight is during the day on Sunday and many of these students have classes on Sunday. Now, if you teach Saturday morning or Sunday morning, you might keep a few of those classes because Sunday morning is Saturday night. So especially if you have older students, you might keep those students. So that's why the evening classes are canceling on the weekend. The morning classes, a lot of them are not canceling. That also means that they will be off school May 1st, 2nd, 3rd. If you want to pick up a few classes or make up for some weekend cancellations and you are available to work those evening hours, that will be their morning hours, Wednesday morning. Th so their Wednesday morning is your Thursday. Tuesday night. Gosh, I can't even, I got Beijing time messed up in my head. But look for the evening slots because it's like a lot of American parents. Hey, let's get this little class in first thing in the morning and then we'll be off for the day and go have fun at the park or something. So you might be able to pick up, quite a few people have taken this tip and have picked up some evening classes during the week while the students are home in the morning on Beijing time. So you might be able to pick up a few then also. So try it out, be a little flexible if you have the ability to be flexible in your schedule. So 
I want to show you how I extend with this with my students. This will work for your upper level students, mid-level three and up. It can work for your lower students if you talk to them and you know a parent is sitting right there. The parents will love you for sharing a cultural exchange with them. So you might try it with some of your smaller ones if uh, an adult is there that speaks a little bit of English. So try it out. So I try to draw out my upper levels without giving away what I know. So like today, this is Saturday, my Saturday morning classes. So I said, oh, hi, did this, I'm opening, this is my rapport building at the beginning for a couple minutes. Um, did you have school today? And of course they say, no, not one student has volunteered yet that they have school the next day, but I know they do. It's hilarious. They, no, I do not have school today. And I said, oh, do you have school tomorrow? And then, yes. And I, I go, Sunday? You have school on Sunday? Why do you have school on Sunday? Now, this is where those upper level students really start kicking it into gear. They were not expecting you to ask them this question. You're going to ask them, how was your day? What did you eat? What did you do today? You're going to throw them for a loop. And now they've got to think of words that they have never had to translate into English before. So they'll sit there and they know why, but they can't figure out how to tell you. So I'm going to give them a hint. Pull up my whiteboard. Hmm. May 1st. Do you have school May 1st? And then oh, they're relieved. I'm helping them out. They say, no, no. Why not? Why not May 1st in China? Why no school? Now, some of them will be able to tell you it's a holiday. If not, help them with the word. Is it a holiday in May 1st? They'll feel relieved. They look relieved. They'll say, yes, yes, a holiday. So I'll say, no school? And then I'll ask them, how many days? No school. No school May 1st? May 2nd. And then they'll talk a little bit, tell me how many days they have off. And I say, oh, so you go to school Sunday because no school on May 1st. And then I get them to say that sentence frame with me. And then I will also um, ask them the name of the holiday. Okay, I have only had one student out of about 20 that could come up with any English word to describe this holiday. And like I said, I teach all the way through seven plus. So if they look a little panicked, I let them know it's okay to tell me in Chinese. I'll say, what is the name in Chinese? Now, now they get to feel successful. They know it's a holiday. They can tell me the name in Chinese. I, I can't remember what they said. So they told me the name in Chinese, okay? I say, yes, in English we say, and then I will write it on my whiteboard or I will type it in the chat box. Most of them, it's either Labor Day or Workers Day or May Day. So I'll even type all three. One of those, if you have an upper level student, is probably going to ring a bell. They really don't know the word for labor, so I'll say Labor Day, deer in the headlights, and I'll say like Worker Day. And that makes sense because they know the word work, okay? Then I will tell them labor, work means the same. Labor and work, same thing. Little light bulb goes off, they get that. Very upper level, what do workers do on this day? One was able to tell me, it is a day for workers to relax. Great, you can ask them, is dad off work? Is mom, no work for mom? So you can ask them about that. So you've taught them that labor, the new word labor, and that it means work. So that's a great thing that you can teach them. And if you want to extend just a little bit farther, you can, and now I'm looking around and my American flag hit the floor. Peekaboo! That's what you do when you drop a prop on the floor. <laughs> so they think it's a game. Mom will never know. Okay, pull up your American flag. And I'll say, in America, we have Workers' Day, Labor Day, but not in May. And then I'll write on the screen, or I'll write in the chat, or I'll write on my whiteboard. 
September. In America, we have Labor Day in September for our workers to rest. A cultural exchange. They're surprised we don't have the holiday the same day they have, or they're surprised that we have the same holiday on a different month. So give your upper levels a chance to talk to you. Let them feel a little bit uncomfortable because you're asking, but not too long. Jump in and give them some sentence frames or a little bit of help or some hints that will help them out and get a little cultural exchange going. And don't worry about your bookings. Try to pick some up during the week if you can. Have a great day.